Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem? 4 raised to power a minus 36 raised to power b equals to 20k. From here, to find the value of a and b, let's write this as 2 square, then raised to power a, then minus 6 square raised to power b, then equals to 20k from here. Then from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m, this same thing as a raised to power m, then close bracket raised to power m, which is also same thing as a raised to power m, close bracket a raised to power m. So now this power it means we can interchange it, and here we can now have two raised to power a, then raised to power two, then minus also here six raised to power b. Then raised to power 2 equals to 28 from here. And also from here, when we have x square minus y square, we can write this as x plus y times x minus y. Difference of two squares. Then here, this will become 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b. Then multiply by 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b, then will be equal to 28 from here. Then in the next step, we have this 28, we can write it as 1 times 28, or we can write it as 2 times 14, or we can write it as 4 times 7. Now, considering this. Two brackets we have the first bracket will be greater than the second one so we have this will be greater that is 2 raised to power a plus <coughs> sorry please 6 raised to power b will be greater than 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b now when you look at this this will be an uh, even number also here will be an even number so now the two will be even but the first is greater than the second so when we look at the first case here we discover that this is odd so this will not work here so this is even this is even okay this will work okay this is even this is odd this will not work as well then the bigger one here is 14 so that means the first one here will be 14 and the second one here will be 2 now from here that means we can write and say 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b now will be equals to 14 and the 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b will be equals to 2 so of course we can solve this equation simultaneously when we had from here 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power a give us 2 times 2 raised to power a then this will have been eliminated equals to 14 plus 2 that's 16 divide through by 2 here and then this will be 2 raised to power a left here to cancel 2 then we have 8 here then we can also express 8 to base 2 we have 2 raised to power a equals to 2 raised to power 3 that this will give us 8 so base i equal that means a here is equals to 3 from here then, to get B, we can make use of any of this equation. Let's see the first one. Now, from here, 2 raised to power A plus 6 raised to power B equals to 14. Now, when we replace A to be 3, we have 2 raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power B equals to 14 from here. 2 raised to power 3, that's 8, plus 6 raised to power B equals to 14 now from here we can take a to this side that's 6 raised to power b now it will be equal to 14 minus a then 6 raised to power b equals to 6 which we can also write as 6 raised to power 1 then the base are equal and here b is equals to 1 so we have a equals to 3 and b equals to 1 then we can check to see if this satisfies the given problem. From what we are given, we have 
4 raised to the power a, and you know, say 6 raised to the power b equal to 28. Then, when we substitute the value of a and b, we got we have a to be equal to 3, and then we got b to be equal to 1. Let's substitute here. We have 4 raised to the power 3 minus 36 raised to the power 1 now is equal to 28 from here. Then 4 is to power 3, same thing as 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So we have 64 minus 36. Is this same thing as 28 from here? And when we subtract this, of course, this is 28, which is equal to 28. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And uh, we can say that A equals to 3 and B equals to 1 satisfies this given problem. And uh, here we have come to the end of the class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. You can put your comments in the comment section. See you next class. Eh? Bye for now.